Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. I hope you guys are staying nice and cool today. It's right now, it's 97 degrees. It actually went down, it's 96 degrees right now. Um, it was really kind of toasty in the shop today. Uh, you know, you get a car inside there and it's running, it's pretty hot. So even though you have a fan blowing the air around, it's still pretty hot. But that's the summertime, right? Um, today I want to talk about uh, something that, that happened um, a couple of days ago to a family member and I just wanted to run it past you guys and, and see if anybody else has run into this situation before. Um, sorry I'm not looking at you and I'm leaning over a little bit. I'm actually holding my tripod so it doesn't fall over. Um, so if I look a little bit crooked that's the, why, that's the reason why. Um, what happened is if you, if you go to my community tab you'll see there's a question about the AAA. What is your opinion on AAA? Is it worth having? Is it not worth having? Um, is it worth going with your insurance company and possibly just getting a, uh, uh, an insurance company to give you a roadside assistance type of uh, um, type of a, uh, sorry about that, I don't want that person to get into my picture frame here. So I'm going to try to block them out the best I can because uh, otherwise they're going to yell at me, that's for sure. Um, but what's your opinion about that? Should you go with your uh, your insurance carrier for a for a policy? Should you go with a AAA or any kind of other companies out there that offer roadside assistance? What's your opinion? Now I'm going to tell you what happened with uh, with a family member on my family. Now you know most of the time I do everything down at my shop, but in this particular case it was 70 miles away and it was not able to work out the logistics to get the vehicle down to get it checked out. So my family member has AAA, so I said, listen, just call AAA, have them come and take a look at it. You know, you have it, it's for free, let them come look at it. And the battery is only about two years old. It's only, the battery was only in the car for two years. And the battery, I might add, is a AAA battery, and right on the battery itself, it has the date right near the negative part of the cable, and it tells you what the, uh, the date of the battery installation was. Now, what happened is the vehicle was bought from a friend, and the vehicle was from Florida, and it was sent up here to New Jersey. Now, it doesn't really matter where you buy it, if it's in Florida, if it's in New Jersey, or where it actually is bought. It doesn't matter because a warranty is a warranty, especially with AAA or any other reputable name brand company. Now, you guys know that I don't like any batteries except the interstate battery. Interstate battery is the best battery that you can buy out there today. AAA batteries uh, or any other brand, I don't want to badmouth any other brand, but to me, the Interstate is the best battery that you could possibly have. And I'm going to, I'm going to go into that a little bit further uh, down the, in this video. We're going to discuss that as well. So what happened is AAA goes to the house. And now I might add, my family member has a booster pack. They can start the vehicle by one of the, one of the many booster packs I have, I had given to them. So they were able to boost the vehicle and get it started. They could boost the vehicle, drive the vehicle to work. It would be fine, shut it off, and inside of five minutes, you could not restart the vehicle. The vehicle would not restart. So they asked me what I thought it was, and I said, well, it, truthfully, it's either gonna be the alternator or it's gonna wind up being the battery. I said, the best thing is to have the uh, AAA people come out. They're gonna check the battery to make sure the battery is good, and they'll check your charging system too before they warranty the battery just to make sure that the charging system is good. And I might add, we also, it could possibly be a parasitic drain, which, you know, that they won't check that but that's something that I could do if we came to that bridge we would cross it so what happened AAA goes to the house they jump start the vehicle they get the vehicle started they do their test on the uh, on the battery they do the test on the charging system and they say no there's nothing wrong with the battery the battery is perfect the alternator is charging perfectly as well so there's got to be something else wrong with the vehicle so it's like, all right, well, if that's the case, then now, now it's logical to let me take a look at the vehicle and see. So I had the vehicle come to me, and um, I, I might add it was not at the shop. It was at my home because my family member came to my home to do this. And um, this is probably around 7 o'clock at night, something like that. So I have, I, as you know, I have multiple different test uh capabilities at work and my capabilities at home are actually pretty good too because a company called Top Don which you'll see me do a video very shortly on on uh, that particular test p 
piece of a test equipment, which I didn't just get from Top Don now. I actually had it for probably a year, maybe more. Just so you know. I will put a description down below so you can take a look at it if you're interested. Uh, but I did the test on it. I checked the whole system out and it came on. I put the check the battery and the first thing it said battery is no good replace the battery so in my opinion the battery is shot but I'm going to follow through and I'm going to check to make sure that we have um, the alternators working properly so I did a diode ripple test which passed perfectly I did a loads on loads off test which actually passed that perfectly too I don't recall the number it was a little bit lower than normal and, and I'm going to attribute that to being a very weak battery because you'll 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 get a weaker reading as well so I did the test on it and everything came back good loads on I'm gonna say it was like 14.5 um, loads off was like 14.7 which is still a little bit low in my opinion but like I said it's probably because of the battery being no good so we call up AAA and according to the AAA warranty which was written right on the back of the paper that if you are a AAA member and you buy a vehicle that has a battery in it that was put in by a AAA member, that warranty is transferable only to the, to the new person if they have AAA, which my family member has AAA and they have AAA plus. So we call up AAA and according to their papers, it's supposed to be free replacement. The person comes out, which I might add was a very nice guy, he comes out to the, take a look at it and he, he's got to check it himself. And I don't say who I am or what I do or anything like that, but he comes and he check, takes a look at it and he puts the booster pack on and he starts it up and he has his device on there and he's checking it out. And which is, is right, you're supposed to do that, of course. But he uh, he checks it out and he says, oh yeah, he says the, uh, the battery is no good, the charging system is okay. So now the person that checked it uh, 70 miles away didn't do it correctly and they, they uh, they had jeopardized the failure of an alternator because if you drive a car with a battery that's weak you can you can destroy an alternator over a period of time so it is what it is so I said to the guy well you know what can you do can you warranty the battery and he says well if you don't have the original paperwork we can't warranty it so my my family member said oh no problem he says I have the paperwork right here from the person I bought the car from because it's a family member as well that we got the vehicle from give the guy the paperwork he goes back to his truck he makes a phone call he comes back and he says no he says uh, we can't warranty it if you want the battery you have to pay full price to get the battery which was hundred and seventy dollars or hundred and sixty dollars whatever it was it was way overpriced to begin with so uh, my family member says well you know according to this the, the battery should be warranted and they said well when they put the battery in down in Florida they didn't put the number of the person the uh, the um, the member's ID number on the receipt so I said no problem let me call them they're right around the corner here I'll call them up and I'll have them you know give me their their ID card and we'll get the correct number so I call them up I get the number I give it back to the guy he goes back to the vehicle he makes a phone call he comes back and he says no he said we can't warranty it I said well, why can't you warranty it it's, it's right here it's, it's in, in black and white on the back of the bill and he says well I've never seen anything like that before and I don't think it's able to be warranted. So we're looking in the window of the vehicle and the guy's sitting in there and my family member says, that bill right there, he says, turn it over and look on the back of it. The guy turns it over and sure enough, on the back of the bill, there it is, free replacement and the, the warranty is transferable if you're a AAA member. So he says, well, this says it right there. He says, you know, why, why can't you warranty? And they said, well, because the person down in Florida didn't put something on the bill Therefore, they couldn't they couldn't warranty it. He said, "Well, if you want the battery, you got to pay full price for it now, and then you can dispute it with uh, with AAA later on and uh, and try to get the money back then." So my family member says, "I said, you know, what do you, what do you want to do?" I said, "I know my opinion, but I don't want to give you my opinion. What do you want to do?" He said, "No, I don't want to. I don't want to pay for a battery and have to tra chase AAA to pick up a to get a new battery when this battery was only two years old and it failed. It's not as good as the battery." decided at that point, or my family member decided at that point, because I tell the guy to stick the battery up because you know where and, and, you know, hit the bricks. So, uh, so what happened is, oh, sorry, my car just said to me, two hands on the wheel, you, you're, uh, you're supposed to have two hands on the wheel driving. I have one on, the, one on the wheel and one holding my tripod so it doesn't fall over. So my car is talking to me and telling me I'm not, uh, I'm not 
driving correctly. Um, okay, so uh, so what happened is my my family member um, decided not to go with the uh, the AAA battery because it was it was a crap battery to begin with, and we didn't want to get another crap battery unless it was going to be a free battery. We weren't going to do it. So long story short. Uh, I did check for a par parasitic drain as well. I didn't tell the AAA guy that, but I did check for a parasitic drain to make sure that there wasn't. And there was no parasitic drain. It was only 0.55, I think it was. Um, so it was, it was no, uh, no drain on there whatsoever. And a 0.55 is just attributed to the, uh, to the clock drawing power or some of the keep alive memory in the computers or whatever. So it's a very, very minor thing. So we know it's not a parasitic drain. And of course, all the lights and everything were off as well. So the the um, instead of coming back to my shop to have it done, which I told you was 70 miles away, it did not make sense to, to go that far. I called up a, uh, a friend of mine who's the distributor of Interstate Battery, and I will put a link down below because this guy went above and beyond to take care of me and take care of my family member so that they wouldn't be inconvenienced by coming down to the shop, you know, 70 miles away. Now I will tell you this, the, uh, the distributor of my uh, the battery, it is probably, I'm going to say, 35 miles, maybe 40 miles from my shop, something like that, but it's still closer than coming down to my shop to get it done, and just logist logistically it didn't make any sense, so we decided to do it that way. I called up my friend who is uh, at the Interstate Battery Distributor, who I have known for probably every bit of 25 years or something like that always, always goes above and beyond to take care of me. So I called him up and I told him the situation. I needed a battery. I needed a, a, uh, an interstate, an MTP 124R battery, uh, but I was going to have my family members stop by. If he could just give them the battery, they'll put the battery in themselves. And he said, yeah, sure, sure, no problem. He said, I'll, I'll take good care of him. It's a family member, so, you know, I'll take good care of him. So um, my family member calls me after getting the, uh, the battery from the interstate battery dealer, and he says, uh, you know, he said, how much do you think that battery would have cost me if I purchased the battery? Me, the, you know, Jay and S. Jim, you know, how much would I, I have paid for it? My cost on that battery probably would have been around 120, something like that. You know, because it was a family member of mine, he gave the battery to my family member at his straight cost, which was like $95. And, he, and on top of that, he threw the battery in for free for my family member as well. So, uh, Kenny, thank you from Interstate Battery. And, and it's in Colstead, New Jersey. Anybody who, uh, I will put the link down below to, to Kenny's location. If anybody can't make it down to my shop and they, uh, they need a battery, you call up Kenny and he'll, he'll go above and beyond to take good care of you. He's a, he's a very his name is Kenny from Interstate Battery out of Colstead, New Jersey. You tell him you're a friend of mine, and I guarantee he'll take good care of you. He'll take good care of you. You may not get it for the $95 that I got it for, but you will get it for a very, very good price. Hang on, let me readjust this because you're, you're not looking directly at me. All right, I hope that's a little bit better for you. Uh, but he'll take good care of you. All right, so that's my rant of the day. Like I said, I'm going to put Kenny's uh, information down in my description down below. Anybody needs anything, give him a call. He's a good guy. Him and uh, his, his secretary, Rose, will take very, very good care of you. If you can't make it to me and have the battery installed by me, that is. All right, that's my rant of the day. Um, let me have your opinion, what you think about this situation or what should have been done. Take, take a look on the community tab. I did put a, uh, a little uh, poll down there of what you think. It's, uh, um, I don't recall exactly what it is, but something to the effect where is it worth having AAA? Is it not worth having AAA? Should you purchase the, uh, a policy from your insurance carrier or what your opinion is? All right, I'll be curious to see what your opinion is and what you think. Now, I will say this. I, I, I do have AAA, and I have it for my, my wife, I have it for my kids, I have it for a lot of people in my family because AAA is very good to have. But in this case, AAA dropped the ball and wound up uh, having a very, very dissatisfied family member as well as myself. I'm not happy with the way AAA treated them. All right, so I'll be curious to see what your opinion is and, uh, and, and what you think. All right, I'm going to call Mrs. Jim the car guy, tell her my ETA, and uh, that's it. We'll see what our next topic is going to be and what my next rant will be. All right, let me put my uh, my glasses on, and uh, I don't want to 
squint that gives me all of these uh, these crow's feet here. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys stay cool and hope the, the weather breaks a little bit and it gets a little bit cooler. Whoa, where are you going there? Let me reset that. I almost lost you, almost fell over. All right, you guys stay cool and have a great summer, and I will talk to you. I'll, I'll, I'll see what my next topic is going to be and what we're going to discuss. Sometimes it just stuff that happens, and I got to get it off my chest. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.